Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy coming at you for another edition of Vinyl Collecting Pickups. It's been a light week overall in terms of quantity, but with regards to quality, that's a different story. So let's get right to it and show you what I was able to find. All right. Starting off with this album, A Trip to the Salvation Army, resulted in a $1.99 pickup, uh, Mamas and Papas Greatest Hits. Another one here was uh, Bruce Springsteen, Greetings from Asbury Park, New Jersey. All right, that's in excellent clean condition with all the materials inside. Uh, the next one here was actually, I got for free, um, and this is uh, Jethro Tull, uh, Thick as a Brick, and this is uh, the, the newspaper, I guess, uh, edition. It's a little bit um, beat up, but uh, the vinyl itself is in fantastic condition. And uh, actually, as we're pulling, as we're taking a look at that one there, um, I was just going to pull out another vinyl here. This is a different pressing of the same album, a later pressing. Um, as you can see, it, it's obviously in a better condition, um, the jacket and stuff, but it's not the, uh, the newspaper edition. Um, so anyways, uh, there's that. So that's the original one I had, and that's the newspaper edition. So it was great to find that. And again, this was free. I got this from a friend. The next one, actually, I was really excited to find was uh, Molly Hatchet. Um, wow, what can I say uh, about this uh, Southern band? It's like a, it's a band that people know of. Um, it's during the time, it's one of those bands that kind of, uh, I don't know how to say, hid back, or not hid back, um, sat back and watched what, I guess, the rest of the their uh, their fellow uh, musicians were doing from that area and then just came out of the woodwork and then were picked up um so um songs like right away on their album like uh, big apple um just are just fantastic so when i saw this i was uh just wow i, I just couldn't believe i found this and again this one here and the jethro tall one that i just showed you were uh free so that is great and i'm trying to just pull this out here um, it's to show you the quality of the vinyl and it's in, uh, it's a little bit hard to do obviously with one hand here. I still have to, uh, clean it off. All right. But, uh, we'll definitely show you this right here. Um, as you can see, it's in fantastic condition. Uh, and as well as the other vinyl there, the, uh, Jethro Tull one that I showed you is in fantastic condition. Um, despite the jacket wear and stuff and right away on this album, like the songs that you probably know of, or people that would know who Molly Hatchet is, uh, like Bounty Hunter, Gator Country, Big Apple, right away, the first three songs, just fantastic and stuff. So, um, if you don't know by chance who Bounty or Bounty Hunter, if you don't know who by chance who Molly Hatchet are, you could definitely check them out on uh, YouTube. Uh, definitely recommend this, uh, again there, I just have to clean it but otherwise it is fantastic. All right, and I'm just gonna put that down for a second because there's no way I'll be able to put that back with one hand. All right, the next one here was on a little bit of a trade. Uh, this was with my friend Scott, who's the uh, owner and operator of Vintage and Vinyl. All right, so I ended up trading him a, a tape deck, a um, couple books, uh, one of my doubles of a Beatles album. It was actually Let It Be, which is a good, great album. Not just a good album, it's a great album. And uh, a couple DVDs, but, uh, <clears throat> they just uh, put this, uh, secured this for me actually very delicately and I appreciate that. Scott, if you're watching it, uh, this is probably a fantastic find overall. I was happy to go away with this. I thought it was a great trade. Something I don't have and something I highly doubt I'll find just sitting around. But uh, let's just carefully open this here. All right, as you can see, it's framed. And I'm just gonna flip this over. All right, and there we go. It's a mint condition GNR Appetite for Destruction uh, album. It's framed again. Uh, it came with a bonus frame. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> and just what, what can I say about this? This is a rare German press, uh, and Scott actually put this out when he had it in the store with a band cover. Um, <laughs> Obviously, you can tell why it's banned. Not just kidding. But uh, alone, this is a fantastic album. Would I take it out of the frame? Mm, probably not. I have the CD, um, so we'll go from there. But uh, definitely to have up is fantastic. So this is probably overall, um, if not very close, probably the highlight of my vinyl collection. I thought it was an excellent trade once again. 
and bonus that it came framed. All right, so to Scott, thank you so much. Uh, uh, let me see, and for everything else there, Jethro Tull, um, Molly Hatchet, and the other finds were very good. So again, overall, excuse me, it wasn't a uh, big week in terms of quantity, but overall quality, fantastic, all right. What else can I say? Hope you guys are doing well, and for the vinyl collectors out there who enjoy music, I uh, hope you uh, are experiencing some success like I am. All right. Take care. Talk to you soon.